Okay, doing this in the field, I normally, after I check my traps, I normally come out and hit the trail, come back off, due to the fact I don't like to set my trail up. But uh, I'm going to try to get these gloves on. Because I don't like to handle my equipment with uh, bare hands. In this case, I've got clips and name tags that I keep with me. Fish oil, I keep it with me. Now, it just depends on what the weather is, the area, the location, everything that's going on, what I carry. If I have to pack, I pack light. Wax paper, keep it with me. I'm reloading my pack this morning. Coffee filters, keep them with me. Pan covers. I keep sieve dirt, and it takes probably about half of this container to do one trap, depending on the area, how wet it is, if it's a bench set, or whatever the case may be. But I keep it with me. At least half full. Uh, peat moss. Keep it with me. About, I don't know, about a half a container. I sprinkle just a little bit of that out. Sorry about the jostling of the camera. I've got two sieve pans. This one I carry if I'm hiking. This one when I'm riding. I'll put the light one down in there. Now, depending on the terrain in the, the soil type, I've got my driver stake, my wolf fang, and my driver. Depending, like I said, if there's something tether to, I'll tether. If I don't want to change the landscape, I'll wolf fang. Trapper spade, I use it. That's a necessity. Some dog food. If you do a dirt hole set, I don't care what you put in. If you put meat, uh, fox ear, and whatever, put your little dog food down inside of that dirt hole. Let me put the lid on that a little better. It'll uh, make some work, make some dig. Three in one groundhog tool, as you can see, it is used. I hear that was about mushroom. I need to work on that a little bit. But uh, if it's pretty good soil, I'll use the groundhog tool to do my dirt hose. If not, masonry hammer. Chip it out. Okay, always keep a multi-tool on my person. My trapper's license, a lighter, first aid kit, keep it with me. Bear with me, I'm loading my bag back up. Now, whisk broom for a blend, I keep it with me. That thing, that's no better than a corn broom to uh, blend in your set. Uh, tether cable, quick links, I keep them with me. My binoculars, I keep them with me. Calcium chloride. It ain't jelly, trust me. <laughs> uh, calcium chloride, I keep it with me. Now, when it comes to, and I'm not going to touch them because uh, i got my trapper's gloves. I keep two sets of gloves. In a dry bag, I keep my trap gloves only. I don't want them to touch nothing but gear and equipment. When it comes to bait, scents, uh, handling uh, various things, I use the other set, which I keep in this bag. It's got the uh, beaver caster, coyote scent, Dobbins lure, stuff like that in that bag. That stays separated from everything. I never handle, I clean these. Those were too big for me. So I cleaned these and swapped out. These are my trap gloves. I handle my traps with these gloves. I handle my uh, driver, my cable anchors, everything with these gloves. The bait, uh, anything that's got any sin on it, I handle with those gloves. 
but I keep these in a dry bag separated from everything. Now, on to the trap. That's a Duke number three. I keep it in a dry bag. I don't never let no bait or no kind of scent get on my trap. That comes straight out of the bag, straight into the ground, using these gloves only. If you've got any scent whatsoever on that trap, any, he's going to wallow on it and he's going to dig it up. But that is what is in my trap basket. That's it. I want to do this out in the field to show you the real deal. And I carry a lowering pack basket. And I always, for safety purposes, keep that orange vest on the back side of that thing. You don't want to be mistaken none whatsoever. If you got an orange jacket on or orange vest on, that pack's going to cover the back side of you. So that kind of alerts everybody that I'm going through. Good for bow hunting or whatever, whatever the season may be. But that's what's in my pack. And this is my old mule. I beat this truck to death. But I uh, just want to kind of give you a rundown on what's in my pack this morning. What I use depends on the area that I'm in, the soil type, whether it be rocky or soft dirt, a lot of vegetation in the mountains means for thick thick soft topsoil but this is Roland smith mountain bush crafters i hope this helped you some i've got other things in the truck but i keep them in the truck and i break them down like a, a five gallon bucket of uh peat moss and i got a five gallon bucket of a uh, sieve dirt pre-sieve dirt and the reason i carry pre-sieve dirt in this kind of weather it's hard to find good top uh covering dirt to bed your trap with but that's how I roll right there. That's it. But uh, like I said, I hope this helped you some. I keep a, I also keep a uh, feed sack. Uh, if I use chicken or, or some kind of scrap food, I'll keep it in a feed sack and put it in my pack. My pack usually weighs anywhere between 30 and 35 pounds, depending if I'm just going a few hundred yards or a few miles. It'll determine what I carry, and I try to be efficient with that. But that's what it takes for me to have a good conscience when I sit and bed a trap. But uh, that's what's in my pack this morning. Roland Smith Mountain Bushcraft with Lines, and as always, go farther, stay longer. I hope this has helped you some. Catch you out in the field.